Hi, this is Nicholas here at the Venezuelan Film Festival in New York at Tribeca Cinemas, and I'm here with the lovely, the brave, the wonderful Tamara Adrian. Hi. Thank you very <laughs> no, much. Thank you. Um, so welcome to New York. Obviously, you, you, you frequent America in New York, but uh, welcome to the Venezuelan Film Festival, where your uh, movie I Undocumented is, is here, a big part of the festival, and the panel, uh, Sex and Gender in Venezuela, another big part of the festival. How does it feel to be involved with this? It was, it's very, very interesting to be here because I think uh, uh, Venezuelan uh, films are in their best at the moment, at this moment. Uh, because there's a lot of reasons. Because one, uh, there is a fund, private fund that, well, it's funded by private, uh, by private funds, but it's managed by the state and has been granting the possibility for independent um, uh, realizers and authors to uh, finish their, their films. Uh, or to at least to have a contribution to, to the because of the films. And uh, on the other hand, because uh, there are a lot of bright people that were trained uh, abroad, particularly in, in uh, Spain or in the United States uh, in, uh, as filmmakers. And now, a few years after, they are, um, they are um, realizing their own films and, and doing their best in order to give a new approach uh, uh, from the Venezuelan point of view, which is also a universal point of view, as you see in this uh, all these films. And I was wondering, um, with I Undocumented, uh, what was your goals going into the, the process of making that film, and how has it changed now that you have the opportunity to present it on a global uh, stage in New York at the Venezuelan Film Festival? Uh, this documentary was the idea of uh, the uh, uh, Bananenko and uh, and they, they all to, together uh, conceive this, uh, this film as a way uh, to promote equality uh, and uh, in order also to present this subject of trans people fighting for uh, equal rights and fighting for the most basic right of anybody to have an identity card and to have identity documents that actually match your image and your, the name you are even defined with. Uh, so it's a very basic, uh, a very basic um, need that it's not easily uh, understood by everybody. Because for even for gay and lesbian and bisexual people, this is not a, a subject. I mean, discrimination is a common subject. And uh, probably uh, labor matters and, and labor discrimination and bullying are, are common matters. But this subject about identification is not a common matter. Uh, in, uh, in the LGBTI community, in the soup of letters, as I often say, as, uh, some uh, like uh, the V E F F N Y, <laughs> the, the, the LGBTI Q Q Q R T T T or whatever uh, the, the other uh, the other letters that you may add, uh, and uh, so by the time you add, because someone say that, oh, we are missing someone for for I, I say your oh, I, and then now that, but uh, of course every every uh, group. Uh, uh, um, their own um, particularities in, in the case of trans population, uh, the main subject and the prerequisite for equality is to have a legal identity that actually match to your gender identity. And it has not been achieved in all countries, including some states of the United States, is not to be said. I mean, mm. uh, here in the United States, there are some states in which uh, the situation of LGBT, of T population, trans population, it's at the same level that it is in Venezuela. Yeah. No legal recognition for your gender identity. Therefore, no legal documents that actually match to your gender identity. And if you can uh, send one message to uh, people in New York and in America about the situation in Venezuela, uh, whether it's about uh, you know, gay rights, lesbian rights, or trans rights, uh, or gender identification. Uh, what would what would you uh, tell someone who maybe be un who maybe is uninformed about getting involved and getting informed? We live in a global world, and uh, we realize that the problems are global. That uh, on the politics, that uh, poverty, that. Uh, Exclusion uh, it, it includes all, all because of the exclusion. That is a game of words, but it is the truth. Uh, the, the recently uh, achieved uh, um, 
survey about uh, um, young people uh, ha uh, homeless in LA show that more than 47% of these homeless young people over 25 were LGBTQ. So it's, it's, it's a common problem. I mean, exclusion creates poverty. Poverty, it's originated by the lack of equal opportunities. And this same problem occurs all around the world. Some places it's worst, some places it's a little bit better, but it affects us all. So when we realize that and we fix a common goal to fight for equal rights all around the world, as a network, I think this is what we have to do. I mean, if we are in a global world, in a global uh, situation, global globalized world, we have to globally work for LGBTI equality, taking into account, nevertheless, the particularities of each country. Because sometimes, where you think it's useful in a country, may be harmful in the other. So. When, when you do your international job of putting pressures on governments in order to give, give, get equality in this country, you, you must be aware that uh, uh, the particularities of this country must take into, be taken into account. And you must consult the people in, in the field in order to know what works and what doesn't work. But this is the must, to have a full uh, global movement that is present and pushing forward for equality. Right, thank you so much for joining us. It was no, such an honor us. to talk to you. Uh, you can hear more from Tamara at, on her Twitter at, at Tamara Adrian. You can two A's, Tamara Adrian. <laughs> yes, and you can uh, find out more about the Venezuelan Film Festival on Twitter either at Ven Film Fest or online at VenezuelanFilmFest.com. Thanks again. Thank you to you.